Live look outside from downtown the Inner Harbor. Yes, it is hot out there today. <laughs> I thought it was okay though this morning when I was out walking. It wasn't as actually as humid as we had expected. And the good. good news is the ozone level didn't get as high as we expected. That's a good thing. There was some air moving around, there's some dry air that came down. It was certainly a hot, humid afternoon, but not anything we can get in the middle of the summer. The dew points were in the low to mid 60s rather than the low to mid 70s that you might find in. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, coastal areas. 94 degrees now. Sunset tonight, 826. It'll slowly cool down this evening, but still 77 now only in Oakland. That's one of the coolest spots around for sure, up in the mountains. 92 in Annapolis. They were only in the 80s most of the day. 95 in Salisbury and 86 in Ocean City. But the water temperature this afternoon was only 60 degrees. <laughs> really chilly water down there. 95 in D.C., 92 up in Bel Air right now. I did find one little thunder shower developing southeast of the Hagerstown area. It looks like it might make it into Frederick pretty soon. So you folks out there may see some relief with this brief shower. That's the only thing around here. I don't think it'll make it much further than maybe Northern Montgomery County, perhaps. If it does, somebody might get a cool shower for a few minutes, and even some brief gusty winds with that. That's about it. And that's going to impact that area. But over the next couple of days, we're going to see more general showers and thunderstorm activity. Still hot air in the east. Detroit's at 90, St. Louis at 89. The cooler air beginning to move into the northern plains. Minneapolis had big storms yesterday, and that afternoon storms did drop temperatures during the 70s out there. Denver's only 59. There is cooler air moving in our direction. That'll begin on Thursday. We've got higher pressure. That's a Bermuda high. It keeps popping in this warm and rather humid air. There's a weak front across the northern section of New England. Boston was 88. They're down to 60 degrees, believe it or not. Winds off the ocean. Look at the future cast. Pop-up shower possible to the north and west. Generally part of the cloudy skies. And during the day tomorrow, again, a chance of a pop-up shower late in the afternoon or the evening. A few isolated spots, but we get into Thursday. That's the best chance. We have showers to the north of this with a weak front. Thursday will be some shower activity, and particularly late in the afternoon and evening. Could see some gusty thunderstorms here on Thursday. In fact, we do have a chance of some severe weather, possibly. In fact, the Weather Service has put us under that slight risk. Now, we had a slight risk last week. We had some tornado activity. At least uh, one or two was reported in the state. One in across St. Mary's County, one near Olney. We don't expect to see that bad weather, but we could see some hail and gusty winds with any of these storms. So tonight, many clear and warm. 73 degrees, a warm night tonight. Tomorrow, back up again in the low 90s, but not quite as hot as this afternoon. And then some relief, only 85 with some storms on Thursday. Friday, a spotty shower early, then it clears out. Low humidity, 80, 80, 80. That's normal Pleasant nights, a little warmer Monday and Tuesday. It should stay dry. Slight chance by Tuesday of another shower, but definitely a big change coming up after Thursday. Back to you.